is good, Grey Gang. We're here. I am about to do something. Believe it or not, I really am. Okay, so a few days ago, I got some decals in the in the mail. I don't know if you can see that. It says KG on it. That's basically all that matters. And naturally, I wanted to go ahead, try to install one, see what was happening. And I was looking around on my truck. I already have one. What else do I drive? The Grand Am. It's not here right now. What else do I drive? A chicken? No. The trap and shack on wheels. Now I'm looking at the trap and shack on wheels, wondering where do I put it? Do I take the Mule 610 off and just slap it right there? Or do I come on the back or maybe put it as a bumper sticker? I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm gonna put it right here, right on the front. That way the squirrels will see me coming. Whenever you see the KG, it's already too late. But in order to put it right here, I've gotta tear this crazy sticker off that's been there for about eight years. Oh my goodness, that may be a problem. Okay, let's rethink this decision. Oh, never mind. no need to rethink. I got a Enough. Feels right off. Feels right off. It is extremely windy. I'm sure that y'all already know that. I'm sorry for the bad audio in this video, but my goodness, I don't know. Is like a tornado coming? Maybe a hurricane? I don't know. We just quit selling them there for a while, but I got more. First things, let's look at the instructions, okay? Because that's pretty important. All right, so if you don't know how to put on a decal, these are instructions on how to do it. So the first step, it says to clean it, but we're not going to clean it because this thing's already as clean as ice. The, the second step, peel off the decal. Third step, apply. And then fourth thing, remove the little thingy. All right, we're pretty good now. Ready? Mm. It's pretty basic. It's just a white KG decal. First step, clean. Three, two, one. Second step, peel it off. Goodness, this wind is killer, dude. Like, this wind is literally insane right now. Goodness, there's probably gonna be a tree fall on me. This wind is insane, though. I really don't like it. Alright, there's peel. We peeled it. Now I have to apply it. This is gonna be the hard part, mainly because of the wind is going insane. But uh, here we go, nice and steady. Boom, baby, it's on there. Usually you wanna get some kind of card to put it on there, whether it be your driver's license, credit card, kindlegrade1.com slash shop gift cards, which aren't actually available yet, or anything. In this case, we're just gonna go ahead and use the knife because it's about as fire as this decal itself. I don't know how good this is working, but goodness, it has to work a little bit, don't it? And finally, for the fourth step, peel this little thing off and we should be good to go. Let's see how it goes. Oh my, we're getting into the big stuff right here. Now we're coming down to the letters. No problem though. I mean, if you do execution right and everything, it should work, no problems. And boom, there we go, baby. We got a decal. But there we go, guys. The Trap and Shack on Wheel is now officially endorsed and sponsored by KendallGrade1.com. I don't know about you, but I think that there is worthy of a montage. <laughs> Grey Gang, if you'd like to pick up yourself one of these decals, they are now available on the website, kindlegrade1.com slash shop. Pick it up, guys. It's going pretty quick, and it may already be out of stock. I don't know. Okay, Grey Gang, now we're actually going to be talking a little bit about what the title is about, you know. I do have a few chickens in the background. If they start trying to talk to us, just ignore them, okay? Because this is not their screen time. I believe they got it, what, a few days ago or something? <laughs> that ain't good. He's back here trying to start some beef with me. Oh, snap. Listen here, Chuck. You better calm down. Yeah, that's right. You better turn around. Uh, what are you doing, Patricia? <laughs> Same. But back to the title, I really didn't plan on having to apologize for this. <laughs> and I'm not! I'm not sorry! <laughs> yeah! Come on, man. Hit me with a fist bump. Hit me with a fist bump. Hit me with a fist bump. Okay, cool. Oh, snap! Oh, man, what in the world are you doing, Cluck? What's up, Rhonda? Cluck Norris just thinking jumped on me. So I know what you're thinking. Kendall, dude, what was you thinking about being sorry about? So long story short, you guys remember my 24-hour hand in a steel trap challenge? Personally, I love the video. Didn't see anything wrong with it. Hashtag bangers only. But then here comes Mom. Kendall, that is the dumbest video you've ever made. No, it's not. It was fun. Kendall, you could have really hurt your hand. No, Mama. Me no feel pain. And then it just went back and forth a little bit, and I, I just let her speak for it, okay? Oh my, oh my, you're so frizzy. 
It's a mess with all this wind. Hello, my name is Carly, K-A-R-L-Y, and I'm here to tell you about the negative effects to sticking your hand in a steel trap. Personally, I think it's very risky on, you got nerve damage, you can, you can, you can have seriously broken multiple hand injuries and broken some bones. Oh my, God. cause the bones in your hand are very, 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 uh, they're really small, like, you know what I mean? And uh, I just, I really, I really do think that it was not a good idea. I really don't think it was a good idea, and I'll be honest, I do, I do not, I do, I do not, uh, I do not. Carly signing off. Okay, guys, it is actually the next day. We're out here checking the traps a little bit, and right here at this first trap, this is actually the first one I've set of the year. You know, just this random looking dirt hole right beside this mountain. I'm looking in here. It doesn't look like anything's stepped in it, but if you turn your focus right here, it looks like something definitely stepped there. Now, at the moment, I can't really tell what it is. It's not very defined, but no worries. That's what we got the trail camera for. The trap pan is actually right here, so the animal would have had to step about three inches over to and a half inches and we should have caught it but let's come on over here to the trail camera and we're about to see what it is what do you think it is make a guess rabbit i'm gonna say it's a dolphin 15 pictures we're happy 15 videos Oh, well, we got one picture, boys. It definitely looks like something's on the trap right now. I don't know. Can y'all see those eyes? I mean, it looks like something's there. If this deer doesn't go over there and step over on that trap, I really don't even know what to do. And it didn't. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I really don't know what to say right now. We obviously had footprints over there, but I don't know. I don't really know. I mean, we had a footprint on it. What more could we ask for? Is this thing pointed down enough? But anyways, guys, we're going to head on down the trap line, see if we got anything else. We might even have a coyote in the next one. Coming over here on the next trap, and we have more tracks. These here are definitely more defined. Right there, a definite deer print. Right here, another definite deer print. This in here actually may be a buck, because it's, it's a pretty big track. And then, even if we look really hard, I think we can... Even see something right there? It honestly looks like a toenail. I'm not going to lie, guys. Well, maybe it's a deer. I'm not exactly sure yet. But the trap pan is actually right there. We have a track right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there. I don't see any predator tracks. I mainly just see deer. But we have a trail camera right here. We're going to test it out here for a second and see how it goes. I don't know if we'll get video of anything different than just a deer. But even if we do, that's still really cool. Okay. Oh, did I just call that? I called that, dude. I said, I said that's a buck print. This is one of the, this is a bigger buck than I shot. Let's check out this video. I don't think nothing's here, but definitely nothing here. But look at that. That is a huge buck, dude. He's walking all over the trap too. Like what, bro? What are you doing? Brother Jonah just out here stepping all over my trap. And if you look really closely, you'll see that that's actually his back foot that's in the trap. Let's keep on flipping. There's me, nothing me today well i will say there's not really been much action out here these days the biggest reason i'm gonna have to say it's been a downpour lately like it's we've had snow a ton of rain and because these are dirt hole traps they have a dirt hole which means dirt hole can fill up with water and whenever you know your bait gets filled up with water nothing's gonna smell it it's just how it goes whenever it rains traps generally don't go good but no worry we're actually gonna bait it up right now because you know what else do we have to do as for the bait the same thing we baited it with the first time our case predator plus come in here get a little bit i don't want a ton of bait i just want enough to give off some new smell that right there should be plenty break it off push it down in the hole a little bit and i'm actually going to relure it meaning put some more extremely smelly stuff this here is long call they use skunk essence the you know the stinky stuff in skunks that's what they used to put in this. I'm gonna stick that right there just to, you know, be high up and let the scent travel. Okay, guys, so now we're out here at the chickens. Here's Abram. I talked to y'all about my chickens not too long ago, and you know, they've been, you know, using the bathroom on their eggs a little bit. I had a lot of people that said to eat some DE, baby, some diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous. Yeah, that. Here it is, though. It's got a chicken on it. Too bad we're using them for turkeys. Hello? Well, it's only two o'clock. They're supposed to deliver it at six. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. But we're out here, we're going to try to apply to these chickens. Now, I watched a video on it. He said you could do it a few different ways. You could get up and in there and put it in behind their ears and scrub it in. But I tell you what, I'm just, I think I'm just going to put some in their food because that's mainly what we're concerned about. And then just a little bit over there in the nest box. I'll let Abram be there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that, Patricia. I'm not having it today. I mean, he said, you know, you can put some in the food. We'll go ahead and do that. This, uh, he said, good for everything for chickens i ate a little bit a minute ago if i had to if i had to say what it tastes like i would say it tastes like ne the nesquik like uh we caught in 
instant cocoa or something, it's awful, okay? I don't even like that stuff either. But I don't know how much stuff we're supposed to put in there, but surely if I put this much, they should, shouldn't have no more worms in them. And then I'm going to put some in the nest boxes. And then just for some kicks and giggles, <laughs> and we're going to call it a day right there. What do you think about it, Avery? I think it's awesome. Me too. I think I just rocked their world. Yeah, I see how it is. Wait until I get outside the cage and then try to start some beef with me. This is the first time, I'll be honest, that they actually look like a family. Like they're all together. Except for that guy, of course. He is stinking scared to death. That man is obviously the dominant chicken. He lets everybody know. And that guy, he's the beta. I mean, uh, that's just how it is. It's called the pecking order, if you haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> Patricia, what are you even talking about? You ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> Honey, this is YouTube. You can't be saying that. We have children watching. That's that's enough, guys. That's enough. Thank you for watching that video by Kendall Gray. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. And if you want some cool merch from Kendall Gray, go to kendallgray1.com slash shop. Hashtag Greg and hashtag Jesus.